Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are doing a review on the Pumpkin Spice Palette. If you are new here, I just moved and I'm still kind of tweaking the lighting. I don't know if the lighting is actually that great or not, but again, we're gonna change and stuff. I do have some lamps in the back that I do wanna use, but I need more light bulbs first. <laughs> so we gotta fix that. But yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up. We're doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers, so subscribe for that. And let's go ahead and get started. So, okay, besides the lighting, I feel like it's okay. It's also really cloudy today. That does not help at all. Um, I do have, I'm using, I am using like a little bit of natural lighting, but I'm not, like getting any like sunshine or anything because it is so cloudy out um i'm again i hope i can like deal with this lighting for a few videos and just kind of like, tweak it and stuff as we go along i talked about this last month in my anti haul which i will link down below for you um i was like oh my god Too Faced is coming out with a pumpkin spice palette i obviously need it i for the most part i've been have loved the palettes with this in this metal -y packaging um I think this is gorgeous. It is so fall, so winter. This is perfect. <laughs> Seriously, it is that good. Um, I think that this just encapsulates any kind of fall, winter. Yes, I have my computer up. I was watching YouTube before this. Um, I think this really encapsulates any kind of fall or winter look that you might want to do. It has those like pumpkin-y warm colors that we all love for fall, but then it also has more neutral pinkier tones for like the crease right here, purples, um, a nice pink, some green tones, this fall vibes color. Mm, yes. Anyways, I think this is a really like overall good palette. I will have it linked down below for you. It was $49. Um, it definitely was a splurge for me because um, I'm usually, especially lately, I have been really uh, particular with my purchases with makeup and I'm, I saw this and I just thought, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go through swatches. In terms of scent, okay, I've seen so many people, and I've watched other people's reviews on this, and I have been wondering, like, does it smell? Does it smell? And so when I got mine, I got it. It does smell a little bit like pumpkin-y, sweet, like gingerbread-y almost. Um, it kind of reminds me of the scent of the gingerbread palette. I don't have the original gingerbread palette, but I do have gingerbread extra spice, and I have a video on that, and I'm gonna link it down below for you. But I, I don't know, like I, the scent isn't as like potent as it was with like their chocolate bar palettes or the gingerbread extra spicy palette, which I have, uh, or the peach palette. So that's something to keep in mind. The scent is kind of a little more toned down, which I don't mind because sometimes if they're too fragrant, it's like, whoa, look back for a minute there. So I think I put on way too much highlighter today. I was just kind of like loading up the brush and I looked at the brush and I was like, shoot, <laughs> this is the ColourPop. Super Shock Highlighter and Manifest that. Um, this is what it looks like. Oh, I look ridiculous. I've never put that much highlighter on my life. We're gonna do a look with this. I'm gonna talk to you about some of the shades and whatnot, shades that I had a little bit of problems with, and we'll go from there. So, um, swatches, it comes with 18 shades. I think a good variety of shades. I think you could wear this for any season. In terms of shades, we have Whipped Cream, Crisp, Fall For It, Pumpkin Spice, Ginger Spice, Cocoa Drizzle, Fall Vibes, Sweetie Pie, Falling for You, Spice, Spice Baby, You Spicy, Warm and Cozy, Oh My Gourd, <laughs> A La Mode, Want a Piece of Me, Love You a Latte, PSL and Chill, and Spice of Life. Very nice. So there were a couple of shades that I definitely had um, some pigmentation issues. We're going to talk about them on the eyes, um, but definitely swatching them out, they did give me issues. The first one is Spice of Life, which is this purple one right here. And as you can kind of tell, nice gorgeous purple but um it just i i swatched it and it was just kind of like you know it was really good on the finger and then it just kind of was like a little sheer i don't know i wasn't i didn't really like that too much so um wasn't like super impressed with that um one she that i was super super excited about that kind of just like made me go oh really um is psl and chill it's this one right here i'm such a fan of purpley shades so i thought this one would be really nice this is a pretty sheer shade this kind of reminds me of a shadow topper as you can tell so um i'm probably gonna have to like wet the brush and stuff and do some of that which is okay i, I don't mind but um just want to let you guys know 
Another one is Want a Piece of Me, which is this one. Uh, this one, some of their shades are a little chunky. Some of their shimmers, Too Faced is kind of known for this. So just letting you know, but if you see really up close, you can, t you can see that grit. Just letting you know, this doesn't bother me. But if you don't like that, this might bother you. A good way to combat these kind of chunkier metallics is to definitely spray, spritz your brush, which I will show you and whatnot. So this is what this looks like. I think the Too Faced metallic shimmering shades really go well on your eyes. I think they really turn out well. And I like that about them. Another one that I was like, a little um, disappointed with. Well, we will try it on the eyes. I haven't really had much experience with this shade on the eyes, to be honest, but it's You Spicy. It's this hot pink, not really hot pink, but like magenta-y, like fall pink color. It's a deeper, almost raspberry shade. It looks great on the finger, right? But I swatch it out and it does that. And, you know, I try and blend it out and it just, it didn't do it for me. So I will, I'm gonna try and incorporate as many colors as I can on the lid and everything, but I will probably do a second video just doing a tutorial, um, maybe like a palette we all forgot about in a couple months, or just incorporate into other tutorials because I, this is such an Anna palette. This is something that I would totally use. Um, a couple of shades that really stood out to me in terms of being like really great in terms of swatches. Pumpkin Spice, which is this one, Fall for it, which is this one. Um, fall vibes. Um, there was one more, I think. I think I love you a lot. It was another good one. But um, yeah, there was a couple of hit and misses here. I think that's kind of typical with every palette, though. They're, not everybody's gonna like everything. Got my color switch out. Um, you don't know it's like a sponge thing. I am gonna go ahead and get started with the look. I'm zoomed up here, and what I'm going to start out with is going in with. Oh gosh, let's go in with pumpkin spice, which is this orangey, yellowy pumpkin color. <laughs> uh, I really like it. I've already primed my eyes with concealer while I was doing my full face of makeup. Sometimes I will use extra concealer depending. Yeah, we're just gonna apply that on the lid, on the crease. You can just kind of see how that's blending out. Now, if you are new here, you're not a subscriber of mine, I do have hooded eyes, so I do kind of cheat up my crease color just a little bit. Um, that's just me though. So so that blended out. I was, I have been really impressed with this palette, but I've also been, this reminds me a lot of the Gingerbread Spice palette. We can do like a little comparison later on, but I do think that there are some significant differences between this palette and Gingerbread Extra Spicy, which I don't know if they're gonna bring back this year or not. I feel like they should, but I, I don't know if they will. Like with Gingerbread, they came out with it in 2018. They re-released it in 2019, so I'm wondering if they're gonna do something similar. I pop it in there with the Holiday Collection because that was a fantastic palette. If you guys have that palette, you know. You know that's a good one. There we go, you can really see that there weren't any like issues. I didn't really have to build up any color and that is a, always a great sign. Um, some people don't like Too Faced shadows. I have, for the most part, there have been some uh, holiday collections like years ago that I've been like, hmm, they're kind of iffy, but this one uh, you can see in the eyes just like how that blended. And usually some of these more bolder mattes from Too Faced have a history of not being the most pigmented. So uh, I'm really happy to see that go down as. Next, I I have like a look in mind that I really, really wanna do. So I'm gonna go into Ginger Spice. Of course, the look that I'm doing, there are so many looks to do with this palette. Seriously, so many. You know, there. Are, if you like recreate my look or whatever, let me know, like I'd obviously like love to see it um but also you know there are so many other looks out there and i cannot wait to just like be like super creative but this we're gonna again going into ginger spice get that on the brush i should also note this has a very nice mirror a lot of the Too Faced like metal packaged palettes have such a nice beautiful mirror that is so great so I'm just kind of buffing that in the upper part of the eye. Just 
kind of deepening that up a little bit. And by no means am I like a makeup artist or <laughs> anything like that. I'm here to just do my thing and um, share with you like what's good, what's not good from a non-millionaire um, working, just working class gal who has a love for makeup. And I feel like for me, like going in a little like deep and whatnot, I do I do suffer from um, depression and anxiety and I feel like doing these videos really like and just talking about makeup and doing my makeup really helps me um, helps lift my spirits and stuff so I do really appreciate that. We're gonna go into whipped cream. I love that they uh, they added like a creamy ivory whitish kind of shade for the brow bone. I love that. I'm all about a good brow bone shade. Some of you may not but it is literally my life so we're gonna use that shade right here. Just kind of gently highlighting that. And I always like to put something just a little bit on the inner corner. I'm not on so much makeup today. I usually don't put on this much makeup. <laughs> I feel like I'm wearing like a mask almost. Like this highlighter is just like ridiculous. I feel like it's like too much. <laughs> so I usually don't go this crazy. Don't mind me. I don't know why. I was just like just digging my brush in and I didn't really re realize how much I was getting on the brush. So I want to apply... I'm really, really torn. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of both. That's possible. I'm gonna put a little bit of Wanna Piece of Me on the lid as well as Fall Vibes. Orange, like a greenish olive -y tone or a mossy tone, and then like purpley. I think that would look so well with this look. It's like a definite like Thanksgiving look. I don't really like wear a lot of makeup for holidays and stuff, like holiday get togethers, which we probably won't have any this year. What are you gonna do? I'm just gonna clean this, spot, spot clean this brush. My brushes need to get cleaned so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go into fall for it, which is, it's like a nice, like peachy, corally shade. I do wanna deepen it up. Maybe I'm gonna mix, yeah. I'll mix pumpkin spice and ginger spice together. I remember, I was talking to one of my best friends, Michaela. She bought a pumpkin spice palette from Too Faced last year, but she bought it on QVC. And it was like totally different. I'll insert a picture if I can find one. But I remember it like kind of, and I just, I was thinking about it. I'm like, well, I don't know, but they actually came out with like a one for, you know, Ulta and Sephora and everything, but it wasn't really widely, uh, advertised either. I think it was on tread mood and stuff. A little crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is a little bit of a look that is a little bold right now. Um, let's go into PSL. And, no, wait, no. Let's go into want a piece of me. We'll put PSL and chill over the top as like a topper because that that formula, that feeling, just kind of feels like it. But I am gonna spritz my brush. I'm using Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Get that real damp. Want a piece of me is more of like a like silvery cool tone purple and PSL and chill is more like a violet like pretty like more like genuine purple shade like Roy G Biv kind of purple <laughs> so just applying that on as you can tell it's not super like mm. Looking down in a mirror here, and I'm not, not really seeing what I want to see. I'm kind of building it up. I don't know though. I applied like a lot on this eye. Oh my god. You can see, like, I don't know. It's not, not that great. Um, let's go into PSO and chill. Up that over the top just a little bit. I don't know. Okay, if you're gonna go for a purple. I think you'd be better off. You'd be better off reaching into another palette. Um, there are some great shades in here, 100%, but mm, I'm gonna go with fall vibes, I think, and just kind of put that in. But, like this color, oh. I'm just gonna, I kind of like blended the purple and the green together, and I like the look of that. This is one of those, again, a very gritty, piecey kind of metallic shade. So again, 
warning here is kind of like a little bit of like an after swatch nice greeny olivey tone i am getting like a ton of fallout if you can kind of tell sometimes fallout doesn't always pick up the greatest on camera so that's okay <laughs> I'm going to take a little, little bit of a mixture of Coco Drizzle and Warm and Cozy, which are these two shades right here. They're both browns. Coco Drizzle is a little more cool tone. Warm and Cozy is a little bit more of like a warm, like reddish brown. I'm going to kind of apply that just a little bit right on the outer part of the eye just to really deepen it up. Because looking back, I want to deepen it up just a little more. And I'm just adding that in. Adding it in. This is one of my favorite crease brushes, um, just for like outer edge detailing or if you really want to blend something out on the lower lash line. This is the JH40 from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. Okay, I'm going to go in with Oh My Gourd. You know Gourd, like the vegetable or like the fall, whatever the heck. But I remember my mom and I growing up, we used to like she one time took a gourd and she like shelled it out you know cut a hole in it shelled it out and then we get a bird's birdhouse i i don't know i always remember gourds from that we also use them as like fall decor outside and i'm taking out all my gourd shade and just applying them on the inner part of the lower lash line it's like one of my favorite things to do um i'm gonna go in with the kvd um dagger tattoo liner and we're gonna apply that on the lash line next let's go to mascara i'm just gonna use beach stellar lash <laughs> i couldn't even think of it for a second there okay just gonna apply that on all right, you guys, it's a few hours later. I did take a little um, break. <laughs> I ate some dinner and stuff and worked on some homework, but I'm back. And I guess this cover, I tried the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder and my oily, oily forehead is back at it again. So I guess this is not a foolproof, foolproof powder. So we're gonna mattify that back up. I have been on the hunt. I better I should mention this. I've been on the hunt for a really good, like, I have a really, really, really oily skin. I have a really, really oily forehead too. And I'm looking for a really, really good mattifying powder. Like, I need a good one for my wedding day in July. And I'm just thinking I need anyone. So matte primer, matte foundation, matte powder please let me know your recommendations. I'd love to hear it. So anyways, um, next we're going to go ahead and do lips. So I thought, what better? I did not purchase the pumpkin spice uh, liquid lip. I thought it was very similar to gingerbread boy and gingerbread girl, gingerbread man, sorry, and gingerbread girl. I kind of want to do like a mixture of both. So I'm going to first go with gingerbread man. I got this in a holiday set last year, but I'd love to get a full size. I feel like it would pumpkin the pumpkin pie one or whatever i think that would just be super similar but the difference between um gingerbread man and gingerbread girl is that gingerbread man is a little more orange this one is a little deeper so let me just kind of like you know do a little bit of like side action you know huh kind of like darker on the outer lighter in the middle yeah i tend to like gingerbread girl just a little better but i do enjoy both for lips i'm gonna use the gloss that i use my september boxy charm which you haven't seen that uh link is down below but we're gonna use the persona season one gloss in the shade honey really nice gloss is gonna go along with this my lips are dry and i already put a really drying liquid lipstick on top so my lips are dying <laughs> i feel like with any liquid lip you need a gloss ugh it is so drying. I do believe that the Too Faced ones are a little more drying than uh, other ones. I got lipstick in my teeth. Yeah, really good ones. I really like the Morphe ones. I think they're pretty good. And they're really cheap, but they, I don't really haven't really seen any shades similar to Gingerbread Girl or Gingerbread Man. So, okay, final thoughts. Let's first, um, before we give final thoughts, I'm gonna compare Gingerbread Extra Spicy to Pumpkin Spice. So here we have Extra Spicy very very warm toned we do have that pink kind of similar we have those orangey tones but it's relatively more warm toned 
gold, bronzes. We have a couple of like the pumpkin spice palettes. <laughs> we have a couple of the pumpkin spice colors, but we also have this really nice like blackish, bluish kind of shade. And then for this one, this is pumpkin spice. So you kind of see the difference. Like this one has some purples, greens, like a little bit more of like a color variety. This one's a little more monochromatic. If you are a makeup connoisseur, and you really like makeup and you love Too Faced holiday and stuff, I would get both. <laughs> um, I did, but I waited for this to go on sale. So I got that for like half off, like two days before Christmas. Just letting you know about that is a good tip. Um, also, pumpkin spice here. I think I like this one. Hmm. The purples were a little bit of a downfall for me, not gonna lie. Um, I loved how everything else performed all in all. Like looking at this look, I truly am impressed. I think that it really blended out nicely. There were some really great shades. The purple looks kind of cool. Like let me zoom you way up here. But the purple looks really kind of cool as like a well, just like almost like a pop of color, a little tidbit of something else. I think it looks good. I also do believe that you don't necessarily need both. So if you are more want a little bit more color variety, some purples, some greens, go with pumpkin spice. If you want a little more like all around neutral, I would say go with the gingerbread extra spicy. If it is not available this year, I'm so sorry. If you have other warm tone palettes on the market, there are similarities. If you just Google like a dupe for the Too Faced gingerbread extra spicy, I guarantee you'll find it. People do dupe videos with single shadows. They'll do them with other palettes. And yeah, I really do think that there are dupes out there. I would be surprised if Too Faced won't re-release Extra Spicy because Too Faced re-releases stuff for the holiday season all the time. And they haven't released their full holiday collection, I don't believe. So keep that in mind. Keep an eye on Trend Mood. Subscribe to the for the Too Faced uh, email blast. Watch Ulta, watch Sephora. It's a great fall palette. Um, I'm gonna be working a little bit more on those purples. I wanna see if I can just do different techniques to make them a little more um, br uh, brighter, more pigmented, and yeah. So let me know what you think in the comments down below if you're gonna be purchasing this palette. And that is all. Be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.